The humanity front. <laughs> what a joke. Did you hear? They want the UN to regulate enhancements. Hello, who is it? Mr. Jensen, David Serlov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be under opposing shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrodes seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. Were you around for that protest earlier? I wasn't sure I'd be able to get in here, and I'm overdue for my neuropazine. You've got to look at augmentation Dr. surgery Chetri, as an investment. Did you hear about the protest? If we listened to them, we'd be living in the Dark Ages. Well, I can see where they're coming from.
been under anesthesia before. Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? Uh, more or less. I know it sounds a little hair-raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Will I feel any pain or anything? It gets done through your IV needle. You'll be asked to count backwards, and the next thing you know, you'll be opening your eyes and the procedure will be over. Wow. Will I dream? Not while you're under, but you might afterward as you wake up. Wow. Uh, sorry, I was just looking at that scar on your head. If you're here for some work, please go to the counters. Will you be purchasing something after all? As you wish. Take care of yourself. Protesting is not against the law. I know that, officer. But some of those guys were carrying tire irons and said... Adam, are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance in the side of the building. You got anything you want to buy or sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. Always a pleasure. Grayson hooked me up with some real tight merch. Those ugg lovers get in my face now, I'm ready to pop. Grayson? Grayson? Where he at? Yo, where you been, man? Been running shit through that abandoned. <laughs> gas station for weeks. Oh, word, I wanted to get. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. 
Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in a prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up, maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, while you're there, there was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay, I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. He might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please, don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. How did you get assigned to this case? I didn't push for it, if that's what you mean. To be honest, I didn't want to get involved. Why not? I was an honest cop, Jensen. I always tried to conduct myself in accordance with the law, with procedures, and what I believed was right. Not really the standard M.O. for a case like this. You said an outside agency may have tampered with a storage locker. What did you mean by that? Well, I've seen... Uh, I mean, I've heard that government agents may have locked up some of the more sensitive evidence in a safe inside the locker. Come on, Chase. What are you not telling me? Damn it! Okay, listen. I snooped around that locker before and found the safe code. But I kinda got caught by one of those guys. He knows I know, Jensen. If I give you the code, they'll know I talked. Call me negative, but I can't think of a nice outcome to that. Why well, retire from the force only to become a security guard? I mean, it looks like you still love the work. I love the idea of being a cop. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to join the force. But I just got fed up. It's not like I had imagined it. It's a job. Some people are good at it, while others just don't care. And it shows. This case, the Seraph case, it was just the last drop in a cup already full. That's all I need for now.
Access granted. speculation surrounding that hostage situation in Detroit has just blown through the roof. Thanks to the arrival of Will Smith, celebrity author and founder of the anti-augmentation organization, Humanity Trust. Speaking from the tarmac at Wayne County Airport, Taggart called the attack an extremely regretful. to the forefront will also be present. So far, Mr. Darrow has refused our repeated requests for an interview. This is Eliza Kassam, reporting to you live from Lincoln. My pit bull augmented. Get him some you know, cyber paws, and cyber fangs, and shit. You know, throw him in the room. Don't be listening in to me or my crew, man. Somebody might think you're a narc. I'm thinking about getting my pit bull augmented. Get him some you know, cyber paws, and cyber fangs, and shit. You know, throw Word to the wise, handsome. Don't go straying too close to derelict row. Them crazies don't take well to enhancers. I'm thinking about. Ain't it kind of late for someone like you to be using these alleys? Downtown ain't safe for pretty boys. Damn Ogs. The power hungry bastards. Every last one of them. This city. I broke my leg ten years ago and it ain't never really healed. I guess I have to live with it since I'll never be able to buy me an Og. This city is one. Hey, pal. You got any change in that fancy coat of yours? This city is one big gutter and always will be.
front, near, near a puppet team. A rock? Whatever. Gotta pay up the ass for that one. Zero cats is gonna get popped if they keep trying to tag over my shit. Oh yeah? How so? Got me a hurricane. That's far enough. Leave quietly and you won't get hurt. Don't come no closer, Slick. Back off! Keep out of this, Hanser. Get lost. to get no closer, Og. It's too late to run.
Speaking from the tarmac at Wayne County Airport, Taggart called the attacks... An extremely regrettable affair. I I'd very much like to meet with David Seraph in person to offer my deepest sympathies and assure him that these attacks are in no way linked to the Humanity Front. My people have worked tirelessly to find a peaceful solution to this dispute, and I unequivocally deplore the methods used by these hostage takers. Now, that being said, I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to express his sincere desire.
I can do that. Oh man, Eliza is so hot. You're crazy. Niashia Akeem is way prettier. But Eliza has intelligence, and I love how she dresses. So cool. Intelligence? She just says what Pikas tells her to. And Pikas only reports what the government allows. I love Detroit. There's no place like it. Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, Metalhead? 
I know you handle the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. Are you deaf or just plain stupid? I told you to get the hell out of my way. Hello? I don't know. I heard there was a demonstration at the limb clinic. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Now forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tubit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. All right, that was a cheap shot. I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting you here, and I can't deal with our past right now. I know it's a risk for you, but I really do need to get into that morgue. Oh, jeez, Jensen. I don't believe this. I just got my life back together and you show up. When's it gonna end? You know the moment I open that door, it's all over, right? I'll be lucky if all that happens is I get fired. Is it really that important? You're right, it's not my risk to take. So I'm not gonna force you to do anything and I won't hold it against you. And what happened two years ago, I know it's killing you. We should talk about it sometime. I don't think I can. Look, I am so tired of having that incident wrapped around my throat. Yeah, I killed a kid. He was augmented, he was a threat. That's what you do. We had civilians to protect. I don't need people always second-guessing me on that! We all make mistakes, Wayne. Nobody blames you for it. You have to believe that and forgive yourself, or you'll never put it behind you. I... I'm not ready. There's something I've been waiting two years to tell you. I blame you, Jensen. For everything that happened. Because when the chips were down, you got the order to fire, you refused, I got stuck having to do it, and you just walked out of my life. That's when everything went to shit, when you abandoned me. Wayne, it was a bad situation. You didn't do anything wrong. Adam, I... Thanks. The door's unlocked. I'll tell the guys to let you through. Now, uh, I need to be alone for a while. I don't know. I heard there was a demonstration at the limb clinic. prematurely and closed the Broadview Tunnel. Perhaps they feared what might happen once the hostage situation in South Industries was solved. Regardless. So you're saying your neighbor has something a couple of witnesses told me.
About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The house has been detached, but I left it in the skull, as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hop to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. to gather in protest. Jensen, I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues, a detective Alexander. Jenny, what did she want? 
She said she could use some help if you can make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Never let T-Boss be booking me with no cars. Before you ask, person, no, your mirror has not been replaced, Mr. Jensen. David Seraph is in no way handedly to You work for Seraph Industries, don't you? I think it's terrible, all these attacks against your offices. David Seraph is almost single-handedly. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My god, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spider all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you, quite literally, into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there.
Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Thank you. 